What's going on people? Welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome back to another video. We actually haven't done one of these in months now, so I know you guys wanted to see this as well. So we're back for a recorded preview. Obviously we're in the AFTV studios. I've got Robbie, I've got Ty with me as well. What are you guys on. saying? How's your weekend been? Uh, yeah, fine, fine, fine facts on life terms. Football, <laughs> not so, but you know, such is life. How's your, thank you very much for inviting us on obviously. How's your weekend been? It's been that fine for me. <laughs> well, Tell you know, that. life and football. Different we actually things. won the game on the weekend, we but did it, didn't mean, it didn't mean nothing. It didn't. Apart from Adidas <laughs> getting relegated, I'm so Even glad. That never meant nothing. Well, that did. I only but get I'll... a feeling, Ty, that you don't like Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what gave you that idea? It was, it was absolutely no, no, wait, I great to relegate. Why do you hate Adidas so much? I listen, I don't hate anyone. Because I don't know Allardyce. So Are you I sure? Don't, yeah. Okay, you strongly I, dislike I, Allardyce. Yeah, I, don't, I, would, I, would never, I would never use hate in the world of football because, you know, there's a lot of madness in the world as it is. So I would never use hate. I would use dislike. And the reason why I dislike Allardyce is because of the way he treated the legend that is Arsene. And the thing is, I won't go into what Arsene has said, but he, also, he told me what him and his crony, who's got relegated as well for South, South End, used to do. And it's disgusting. I, what I, they I, used to do? Well, I'm not. I'm not going to really go. In, I'm not going to really go into it. Yeah. You know, because no, no, because it's, it's what Arsene said. So I'm not really really go into what he said. But what he said was not. He, he, put it this way, he, they didn't act in the most professional way to him. Okay. You know. You know. And I, and I, that's what I mean. And, I, and I've, I've I've been at games when Allardyce is the manager, when their Bolton players have just nearly injured, nearly, nearly done an Eduardo and Aaron Ramsey. Uh, a Vasarika Abidiabi on our players, and nothing's happened. And Allardyce has said, why are we moaning? You know, he's, he, and also the way he treated Arsene, I think, listen, <laughs> it's a long story, but I think it all goes back to the time when apparently, so Allardyce says, he, Arsene was invited to a manager's meeting. This is when he was just early in the Premier League and all that and ripping up, and apparently he didn't come. And ever since then now, Allardyce and all the other managers say, who does he think he is and all that? Who does he think he is? I've been, I've been at so many games when I've seen Bolton players kick our players off the pitch with tackles that are very, very dangerous. You know, I'll even, I'll even call out my countryman. Obviously, I'm English, I'm born there, my parents are Nigerian. JJ Okocha, the tackle that he did, we drew 2-2 with him. I can't remember what season it was. It's the season when we unfortunately didn't retain the, we retain the league. The tackle that he did on, you can, you can probably see it on YouTube. He was nowhere near the ball and he caught Ray Parler here. And Ray Parler said, I thought I broke my leg. This is the kind of figure. And you've got Allardyce there. I think after the game, he said, oh, yeah, we've done our bit. You know, it was, it was fair game to kick our players. You know, I don't mind if the challenger, but challenger's got to be fair. Bolton were disgusting. He's a long time ago. Yeah. I don't, he's in matter. your head. He's really in your head. He's yeah, in my head because he's been, rele <laughs> he's been, he's been relegated. Uh, so you're the first club to yeah, relegate Sam Allardyce. That's yeah. got to be revenge for you, isn't it? No, revenge would be to kick him out of football altogether. <laughs> That's what it would what, be. Figuratively or literally? Literally and figuratively. Oh no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Literally, oh, figuratively. No, no, I don't. I'm, I don't condone anybody. I thought you were looking like actual proper. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. No, no. Figuratively, you know what he done. That's what I mean. What he did and got away with was disgraceful. It's almost worse. It's almost as worse as what the cheat Ferguson got away with. It's almost as worse as that. I thought you were going to say Costa at some rate. Oh no, Costa. Co 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 yeah, but. Costa's, an, Costa's another cheat. So was Drogba. But... Drogba? Yeah, it's Drogba cheated, but... I don't respect I don't respect Costa. And I don't... I dislike the way that Drogba cheated. But as her man, as he is off the pitch, I cannot diss the man. Remember, with Allardyce, Allardyce got sacked by England. And that shows corruption. I've never heard Drogba get into any silliness off the pitch. Do you see what I mean? No, my so, guy stopped the civil war. <laughs> Sorry? My guy stopped the civil war. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? That's what I'm saying. So that, that's. Can't that. stop you though. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I respect. Stop the civil war, we couldn't stop you. <laughs> I respect. I respect. I respect Jobber, but I can't respect Allardyce. And even, even, even this season, he had the guts, the temerity, the courage from his corrupt mouth to say, we are their relegation rivals. Can you imagine that he said, oh, oh I yeah, didn't say that? Oh, yeah, you know, that. I forgot that Can you imagine? This is, this is how... I, you know, I actually, I actually forgot that when, when we played him the other day, yeah. but how's that come back to bite him now? Exactly. Yeah. When he said that, yeah, I forgot about it's that. It's unbelievable. Yeah. The arrogance, the 
arrogance of Alan Dyke. Oh, so you must have had a great weekend relegating them at least. Well, yeah. I had a great, great... W- the funny thing is, I'll say now, I'm disappointed for West Brom. So parts... I better be careful what I say. My thoughts on football go out to Karen Gibbs used to play for us. Shemi, Shemi Jai, who came from our youth team. Big up Ivanovic as well for talking about West Brom players. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, Kyle, Kyle Bartley, who used to, who used to play for this. And there's one more, there's one more... Player. Oh, and Ainsley as well. Ainsley. Ainsley. Yeah. Ainsley. Yeah. Who's yeah. on loan? Oh, yeah, Main and loan. So, Robson Carter was there now. Was. Yeah, he was. No. Was in the academy. Was he? Oh, I'm sure he somebody was. told me that the other really? day. Really? Yeah. Well, okay, possibly him. I don't know. You know, mm. so my heart, hearts go out to, to them, the West Brom fans and West Brom, because I love going to. West Brom as a city is really, really nice. But it's not about West Brom, it's about Allardyce. That's what it's about. And I'm all this, when I talk, I talk about relegating him. And him only. I've got oh, no Rob, problem with Westbrook. Robbie looks so tired of the other Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm hearing him like, for, he, he, I've he been hearing this for about the past six months, it's culminating <laughs> with like <laughs> it's so it's not been this seven. whole week. And he had it in the watch alone. No, no, I've been hearing it for years. Yeah. <laughs> and then I've been hearing it like in he the watch alone. I've heard that like for the old two hours. my life, you are one of a kind. Please never change. Thank you. So we'll take this back into Chelsea Arsenal. Okay. We've spoken on previous videos about Arteta and the thoughts and how, how the fan base has kind of drained in their support for him as well. I wanted to well, ask some, you some. guys as well. <laughs> yeah. And obviously with the Villarreal is on, I feel like your whole season was riding on the Europa League <laughs> yeah, as well. Yeah, it was. Since you lot have been out of the Europa League, what's your thoughts been on Mikel Arteta? And do you guys still think he's the right man for the job? And if yes or no, why? Robert, we'll start with you to be fair. No, I don't think he's the right man for the job right now. I think um, the job's come too early for him. Mm. I was very surprised when he got the job in the first place because I was like, this is a job that needs a guy of experience. Mm. To give it to somebody who's never managed before, I thought that was crazy. That was my thinking at the time. you feel that from the start? From the start. I was like, he's got no experience. I, I actually was like, we should get Ancelotti because I was like, yeah. we Love need Ancelotti. somebody who's got experience. Yeah. We brought in Arteta. I was very disappointed, if I'm being honest, but... But I then said to myself, well, no, let's give him a chance. Yeah. Right? Because everybody deserves a chance and, you know, you never know. He could work. Maybe they've seen, you know, obviously they've done their research. Maybe they've seen something we haven't. He, in the league, it wasn't great last year, but we won the FA Cup. So that, for me, bought him this season. Even when, sort of earlier on in the season, when some fans were saying, oh, I'm not sure, maybe we should get rid of Arteta by Christmas. As a matter of fact, he turned it around when we played Chelsea in December and then went on a decent run. But even before that, I was saying, nah, for me, he won the FA Cup last season. He deserves till the end of the season. Let's see what he does over the course of a season. That's not just... We've now seen more or less what he's going to do over the course of a season, which is he ain't won anything. And again, we're going to finish outside those European places. And for me, for a club of Arsenal stature and size, and it's not good enough. It's not good enough. And for me, we need to make a change. I'd I'd be bringing in somebody else, not just Arteta. You Mm. know, I look at like the whole structure around him is all wrong. Mm. So Mm. I'd be looking to change it. I, I, you know, I I really don't know who to bring in. You got a favourite in your mind though. Well, I've always said from day one, I wanted us to go and get Allegri, Mm. who was the previous manager at Juventus. It does worry me that he's been out of a job for quite a while. Mm. So, you know, sometimes when you've been out of it for a while, but... Allegri is available. So, you know, I like, funny enough, I was saying to the guys earlier, Conte, who was oh, yeah. your previous manager, I think he's a very, very good manager. He's yeah. done brilliant again with Inter Milan. But oh, if Conte why, came to you, I'd like to want to know. Why, 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 you want why, to talk about a change in mentality? Wait till Conte. Exactly. Yeah. But why would he want to leave? He's in the Champions League now yeah. with Inter. He's just done it all for Inter. So. That's a bit of an impossible dream. But for me, mm-hmm. Allegri, he's done it. He's an experienced manager. He's been there. He's done that. He's available. That's the sort of manager I'll be moving for now. You could look at maybe a Rafa Benitez. But for me, that's just more... I'd be looking at a manager like that and saying, well, that would just be to steady things. I'm looking more a manager that we could have in the next few years. Alleg- I wanted him in the first place. Mm-hmm. So I just think it's, this job's come too early for Mikel Ote. It's a huge job. When you take over a club like Arsenal, if you lose two games in a row, 
Mm-hmm. Man's already question. starting to ask questions and say, yeah. hey, yo, you know what I mean? Well, hey, lose another one. <clears throat> after, well, that's how it should go when you're managing them sort of clubs. Yeah. I think he should have went somewhere first where he's a bit under the radar a bit. Yeah. Mm. Where if you have a couple of losses, you can Still have a bit of time to... Because, listen, how do we all learn and grow in life? Make yeah. mistakes. Mistakes. Yeah. So sometimes if you're at a job where you're kind of out of the limelight, where you're allowed to make a couple of mistakes and learn from. So he's probably, I was saying to the guys the other day, over those two legs against Villarreal, every fan was screaming and say, right, we know that Tierney's out. Because I think people always have to remember that. We had uh, some terrible injuries to key players going into that Villarreal game. No Aubameyang, malaria. No mm. Tierney. No, no David. D- David Luiz has been pretty good for us this season. He's played yeah. well. He's been our best defender. No Luiz. He's missing some key players, right? Yeah. So you've got to factor that in. But even so, we were saying, as Arsenal fans, we were saying things like, play Saka at left back. Put Martinelli up front. He didn't. He played Xhaka as a left back. He played with a false number nine, something we haven't done. Mm. And we ended up losing the game 2-1. Mm. Then in the second game... We go and play Saka there again, go all out. He didn't, and we're out. The following game against West Brom, he plays Saka at left back and Martinelli up top. All right, maybe mm. you've learnt from your mistakes, we're too late. Mm. But if you was at another club now that you're under the radar, maybe you could learn that lesson that actually what I did wrong there, without all the pressures of, you know, people saying you should be sacked and things like that, and learn and progress until then you're ready for that big job where you don't make those mistakes again because you've already made them when you've been cutting your teeth at a smaller club. So mm. that's been the issue here. But I, I, I don't know how he stays, but he's going to, I feel, you know, because the guys upstairs have no ambition. So he will still be here. But, yeah, I, I mean, Allegri for me, if, if, if we could get Allegri in... Simply for the fact that I would have loved that Nagelsmann who's gone to uh, yeah. who's yeah. gone to Bayern. I Spurs think you know I, 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 I well. love his um I love his progressive way of playing. I like his exciting, you know. Um, but yeah, I, th- I think for me then Allegri. Okay, fair enough. If we take this back towards the Arsenal Chelsea game as well, I just want to gauge what you guys' thoughts are going into the match because, like you said, you lot don't really have as much motivation going into the game and. That can work to your detriment, but that can also work to you guys' benefit as well. You yeah. guys go into the game with a much clearer head. Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal much better with the pressure off. Mm. Arsenal, with no pressure on them, could go out and turn Chelsea over. Saw what happened last time as well. That's, that's yeah. why I don't want to say too much going into the game. Obviously, I think we're more than capable of going and getting a result, but mm. same way you guys have shown it too. You guys are like this close to winning three in a row. This could be your first win at Stamford Bridge in four years. In a, I feel four in a row. You've got their 2-2 two, two win against us. Uh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then, two, and then, and then even two, under pressure sometimes. You remember from you remember that. Even, even goal even and sometimes. Well, how's that a win, though? Yeah. Tell listen, your fans. Yeah, tell your fans listen, that. Listen, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not tell our fans that. If you went down to 10 men, you'd be doing the same. Oh, so you're one of them. All right, okay. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. You know that thing, right, where you guys say about, oh, we're carrying on like we won the game. Let me put it in context. Exactly. The last time we went to Chelsea and we went down to 10 men. Oh, remember God. That, remember that? God, oh, yeah. Mad, mad. I didn't even think about that. No. Yeah, down to 10 men, yeah. Down to 10 men, yeah. Six 20. mil. Yeah. Oh, to be fair, oh, it's happened yes. before. You yes. remember Gabriel yes. and Costa? Yes, but then... Yeah, yeah. But I remember that 6 nil. We was down to 10 men in that mm. game, innit? Yeah. But then, right, so that's what I mean. So, yeah, yeah, we yeah, got a horrible true. record at Stamford Bridge. We're down to 10 men. We're like... Remember, that's 10 men. was quite early in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First half, wasn't it? Yeah. And you know what was the most pleasing thing about that game? Was the fight. The fight that Arsenal showed, they refused to be, refused to die. I feel like it was half on our game. point as well. Right? We couldn't, we were so unclinical. And it's still yeah, but we refused now. to die in that game, yeah. right? So that was why we were so happy. You know, sometimes you get some results, right? They're more pleasing to you than even a win because of the fight that your team showed. And that's what that was about that night, mm. you know. Um, and Martinelli, the way... He just nicked that ball from Kante in the midfield and, and Kante, and Kante slipped, slipped yeah. over. Poor touch. Right? And, it, and yeah, it was just a great game. But also capable beating Chelsea. Mm. I, I say when the pressure's off, but then the FA Cup final last year, nobody gave us a prayer in that game. And, you know, so we are capable of beating Chelsea. The pressure's off. It's a, 
it's a game that you guys have to w win, really. Just well, not have to, but you, if you want to secure your top, four, I, I guess with Chelsea, they want to get that top four thing secured before they go into those, you know, Champions League preparation and things like that. So you never know, man. I'm going for a draw, though. I think it's going to be a draw. You said draw. that, but mm. you said that, but let's go. But you said you won the league before. You know, you said you had a bad season when you you won the league before that. Yeah. But you're saying about the 2-2. Two -two. I remember you drew nil-nil and your fans were going mad like you won the league. Do you remember that? But we were three games away from No, but he was still. So that was a nil-nil draw, wasn't it? Yeah, but we were... Well, there, but you said... You see, no, 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 no. Here's the difference. See? We were no. first. Yeah. You lot went from 10th to 10th. But there's two draws. They're both draws. Yes, but we so were... So what's good is what, good. What, what's the what's difference? Good? What's the, the difference di is... No, but there's two draws. What's the difference so between the two of them? No, but you're saying that we were celebrating two draws. You were celebrating a nil nil. Yes, we? but that took us to close to Yeah, the but title. you see, no, but that's the same thing. They're both draws. None of them are wins. No. So how can you have a go at us? But look what it led to. And then you were celebrating a nil nil look what it led to. It led to a nil But it doesn't matter, though. It was still a draw. even necessarily still a draw. We're talking about draws. You're saying no, the two. You, no, they're still the same results, aren't no, they? No, it's not. They are. <laughs> you still got a point. To a league title. It's that, a difference in what so, it but means. You still got a point, didn't you? What did the. What you still did got the two a point, two, though, but you still got a point, didn't you? What did the 2 2 draw mean to you? But guys? you still got a point, though. But what did the 2 2 draw mean? Aren't they the same thing? Aren't they nil nil and 2 2? I'd still a draw. You're not answering the question. Yeah, you see, well, then. But it's the same thing. You're not answering the question. But what's there to answer, though? What, nil nil what two, did two. The two two. You can't ever go at us guys. for celebrating the two two draw. What, if you were celebrating the nil draw, what did the two you two, two draw mean to you guys? You can't. But what you're not answering. No, what did the two two draw? Mean was it still a point? Yes, it was exactly. Still a point. What did the two two draw Fucking mean? Old to Murray you guys? There. <laughs> <laughs> what, it, what do you mean? What did it? What did the draw mean to you it guys? Meant, it meant that we got a, a draw with ten men. That's what it meant. That's cool. all right, right. And what cool. did it? But and we weren't saying we weren't. But you said we were celebrating. We were celebrating that we came back. But the thing is, you okay. celebrated a nil nil draw. You, you did yeah, not even win that game. Because no, no, no. you went to win you on the we went on to win the league. Yeah, yeah. so that's okay. Then. Draw. So hold on, so that's okay. You can celebrate a nil nil draw to go on and win the league. But it's not okay. Celebrate a two two draw when you've got down to ten men. Wait, 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 let me finish. Is that what you're saying? Please, let me finish. Right. So in the ground, I don't blame you as an away crowd celebrating. Like, come on, two two draw at Stamford Bridge, you come back twice. Fair enough. Limbs, I understand. Like away day limbs, I get. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about your admin putting like 17 tweets out in the same night about a 2-2 draw that literally meant nothing. And, I'm and talking about your fan base yeah. going on about it for months. Yeah, I'm but talking you about, would do the I same. Saying, I saw your media make a documentary about Bellerin's equaliser. Who? Like, Who? A documentary? I saw, you saw where? Well, so, so, it was a very, oh, very up. good <laughs> edit <laughs> and everything. <laughs> on where? They were really studying us, didn't they? You should be watching your own thing. I ain't watched none of your stuff. You, know, you should be watching your own thing. It's based on Twitter, man. I see it pop up all the time. Listen, listen Every that was, seen, hey, this you, goal was got a, You lot know the context of that. We were down at 10, man. As I said <laughs> before, when we've been down at 10, man, we've been smashed there. And it was a great comeback. It was a, comeback. Comeback. It was a great yeah, comeback. You lot thought you won the game. Yes. You lot thought you won the game. It was a great comeback. And the goal, the goal to get the equaliser was a great goal. You run the whole in for the pitch. Personally, I didn't even think like we smashed the game or anything. I thought we nicked it. Do you know how yeah, bad we, we were, were in that second half? Yeah. Like you guys were resurgent against us. But mm. we were still shocking. Like in the final, we were so we made bad. You shocking. That, <laughs> no, every team, every team, we ain't clinical against. Like, that's why our conversion rates in the mud. But we're like first place for nearly everything on stats. Mm. We can't finish. We can't finish to save our damn lives. That's the only thing I'm worried about facing you guys. I was well. going to make it. I was going to say the reason why. No, I'm not even going to say that. Uh, You're going to say yeah. Verna, weren't you? I was going to say Verna, and then yeah. he'll probably come and score a hat trick against us. You know what I mean? Let's I, know, I, know, I know he's like, you know what I mean? So I'm not <laughs> saying that. Just have interest. Yeah. Do you know our top goal scorer is in the league this year? Zayat. Well, probably. It's not It's not, it's not Willie, <laughs> is, is, it, is, it, is it still Olivia? No, it's uh, there's three of them. It's Mount, isn't it? It's Mount, Jorginho and, and Zuma, I think yeah. it is. In the three. league? In the league. Zuma? I think they've all scored six goals. Oh, yeah, I heard something about that. Are you serious? They're our top goal scorers, and they've all got six goals. I wow. think it's Zuma. Wow. It's definitely Jorginho and Mount. I no wonder you look into a guess. The only through is that we have the most goal scorers in the league, so we can yeah. get mm. goals from anywhere. Six. Like no one yeah. can really be solely responsible for oh, our that's goals. I didn't know that. No one's that clinical. Yeah, but that's the clinical. Chelsea problem. Ver Werner's better on the wing. He's better at like mm. getting in behind, and but <laughs> he's not clinical at all, man. He's like, if he was clinical, he'd be yeah, some. If we had anyone clinical, like we'd be up there with Man City right now. Mm. But that's the biggest problem, I guess. Um, mm. Final thoughts. We'll get to your score predictions. You said draw. Do you say <laughs> draw, score, draw, draw or nil, nil? Uh, two, two. Two, two? Oh, yeah, two, two again. Like okay. cool. yeah, at least it's interesting. Ty, what about you? Another two, two draw? <laughs> no, I, I, I still stick with my 
two new hopefully. I just like I said, I just I can see us getting underestimated. No, I lost. always rate your belief in your club. I love it. <laughs> Ian, what about you, man? Thank you. I'll have one one. I, th- I don't think it's gonna be that interesting trying to hype up the game, but I think he's got <laughs> I think he's got dull affair written all over it actually. I hear that. You guys already know from the previous videos I'm gonna stick with my two nil prediction. But guys, thank you guys for tuning in to the first pre recorded video in months. Robbie, Ty, thank you guys for Thank you very much for inviting us. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you for being here, of course. Thank you. Ian, as always, thank you for jumping on as well. No worries, Everyone, yeah. smash the like and subscribe button if you guys haven't done so already. I'd massively appreciate it. And we will be back tomorrow for the review for Arsenal Chelsea. Let's just hope we get a W because it'll be the first time in ages. But yeah, smash the like and subscribe button. And as always, up the Chelsea.